Asia League. The stage is set. The moment has arrived. It's the grand final of the Pro Panja League. We are live from Gwalior. And the final is at the historic Gwalior Fort. What a beautiful city. The city of kings and it's in the heart of our beautiful country, India. I'm your host Sarthak and to join me in the commentary box is the arm wrestling expert Pradeep Singh. Pradeep, welcome. How excited are you? Because it's the moment that we waited for eagerly, the grand final. Thank you, Sarthak. And this is the most exciting and entertaining and important day in the life of all the arm wrestlers that are present here. And as you can see, Monster Michael Todd and Rebecca Todd making their entrance at this stage. And fans are also there, the Gwalior boys, Gwalior girls, everyone is supporting the event. Definitely going to be an amazing, amazing night. Totally, and what a proud moment for the co-founder Parveen Dabas, who's, who's on your screen right there. And to conceptualize something like this and take it to such a big level, it's only growing with each moment. Well, growth is inevitable. And 600 athletes showed up prepared but only 20 of them get to be on the final stage. They were the one who proved themselves. They were the one who showed that their strength, their experience level is beyond all of the other athletes that they eliminated during this process to get to the finals. Right, Srinivas, Chandan, Shreya, Arya, Yasa, Rudra, Rahul, Steve, Chetna, Neetu, Mazahir, Dilshad, Yogesh, Jinsi, Jagdish, Samir, Askar, Sachin, Tawheed and Karaj anyone in particular if i have to put you on the spot pradeep who's the winner you want to take a name or you don't want to do that i think we will do that as the matches progress but definitely a big big card there are many many big names the stars of indian arm wrestling present on this card it doesn't get better than this Pro Tanja League. Welcome back to the live and exclusive coverage of the Pro Panja League. I'm your host Sarthak. With me is Pradeep and we are heading towards the 60kg men's category fight. This is going to be some contest. Yes, Rudra Nayak versus Yasser Arafat. These are two intense boys. The explosion at the table is going to be inevitable. The energy is beyond the limits of the charts. Yasser Arafat making his way to the stage, looking happy, looking confident. Yeah, I would say mind games from Yasser. There he's trying to show he's very relaxed, but I'm sure the nerves will play a role. It's a big stage. Look at the audience, look at the spectators, look at the, the atmosphere. That in itself will, will have a role to play in those nerves. Interesting thing, the host is doing pre-match interviews with the athletes. We have not seen that before. I mean, that's the last time an athlete wants to talk to anyone because they're in their zone and an athlete's zone is something. And you don't want to disturb it, especially before a match begins. Sarthak, I do not know about that. I'm not sure the mood that uh, Yasser Arafat is uh, see looking to be right now he's is very joyful looks like he wants to talk to everyone he was even talking with the girl who was applying the the war colors on, on on his face yeah he seems to be pretty relaxed and you can see someone who's also looking very relaxed monster michael there with his wife he seems to be enjoying this live and exclusive intense finals monster has traveled all over the world in his career in the last three decades but this has to be one of the best atmospheres that he has ever been around arm wrestling so the match is about to start 60 kg men's final rudra nayak on the left and yasser arafat on the right side of the screen now he's on the left side on the screen on this display the fight between rudra and yasser has commenced the referees Tapping, there's a tap on the shoulder there, tap on the hands and we have some conclusion here Pradeep. Yeah, the tapping was an order to square the shoulders, an attempt to take the grip. They were not able to take a grip. So I think we are moving on to the referee's grip. Yes, the referee has signaled the referee's grip. 
fair start now. Both of the athletes are going to have an equal opportunity to display their abilities, to display their strength. And the look is now intense. Yasser is not laughing or joking anymore, but he has the hand control. He's looking in a good position and you can see he's celebrating the slip because he had the dominant position because when he slipped, his hand was almost slamming onto the pin pad, which is showing that he was going downwards and his opponent was trying to slip from his hand. So definitely having a great amount of confidence going into the straps. He must compliment the mental side of Yasser. He came in very relaxed and for a moment you thought, is he taking it too casually? Is he taking it too lightly? But I think that's a strategy that's working perfectly. Yeah, that switch from a joyful boy to a warrior. That was immediate and that was intense. The referee is applying the straps. Yasser with the knuckles high position, fingers pointing towards the sky, looking for the top roll. His opponent is looking relaxed, not applying his energy yet, trying to conserve it, trying to let the referee do his job as we go into the referee's grip. Rudra Nayak looks calm, he looks composed. Yasser is also having a sort of a calm and intense look on his face. These men are about to explode on the table. Yes, all that calmness on the outside, but on the inside it's intense. Yasser is filled with fire. Yasser has taken a good position. He has taken the wrist of Rudra Nayak. He's applying side pressure, not able to finish the match yet. Rudra putting his leg on the table, looking for that extra 10% more side pressure to prevent his arm from going down. But Yasser Arafat is not giving up. He is keeping that continuous pressure on the hand and wrist and arm of Rudra Nayak, standing up and following up, following it up with a shoulder press. That was a great, great transition from Yasser Arafat. So he was kind of guessing that the arm of his opponent and in fact his own, his own arm also was getting tired. So he completely switched to a different style, changed the muscle groups, utilized the fresh muscle groups. As you can see here, he stood up and pressed. From, so from top roll to a press, great transition and display of technicality on the table. From the top roll to the press, utilizing every muscle group in that upper body and also the lower body strength coming in. That is Yasser for you. When he walked in, I for a moment felt, is he a little too casual? But this is magic that he's shown us and what a win for the first round. He has, of course, more work to do here. Yes, he just cannot start celebrating it yet because yes, he won that first round but it was close. Despite losing hand control, Rudra Nayak gave a really good fight. He was not giving up. Now we move on to the second round. Can Rudra make a comeback? Or is Yasser going to get the victory? Is he going to finish it off? Let's find out. You can see the international match referee in Sergei Sokolov there. Yasser with the top roll victory. He's celebrating his win. Too much for his opponent. Looks like the opponent gassed out. He was running out of energy in this match. Definitely a great display of a strength from Yasser in this match. Yes, Pradeep, totally dominating strength. And I want to understand from you, what exactly did Yasser get right in this match? I think that match was won on two main key aspects. The first one being the pronation and top roll strength from Yasser and the second one being endurance. We saw that in the first round. Rudra was able to stop the match but in the second round it was all over. Up next the blockbuster 70 kg men's coming up. Pro Tanja League Aapki kismut, aapke haath. Bharat ka khel, Bharat ke channel bar. Pro Panja League Season 1. Sirf DD Sports bar.